Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to look at some of the new Taurus handguns as well as some of the previous models and talk about the similarities and differences to alleviate any confusion out there. People will see the new G3X, the G3XL and wonder what exactly am I looking at here? And of course we have the G3C that has been around for a while. It's evolved to the G3C, and we notice that the G3C has a new model. It's really not a new model. The difference is they removed the thumb safety. Here's an original G3C. It has the thumb safety. They removed that. That is the only difference. So I'm going to remove that out of the equation. In mid-January, the 18th to be exact, they released the G3X. And what this offers is a hybrid between the G3, all right, with magazines that carry 15 rounds. This currently has a 17 round mag, but it does have the same grip length and width. If we look at the slide, we'll see that both use a 3.2 inch barrel, and the slide is exactly the same. They will interchange with each other. The difference is going to be with the grip length and the grip width. When I grip the G3C and I grip the G3X, I noticed that this is a bit wider. So I took out a tape measure here. I measured right in the middle of the grip and I see that this is measuring in the middle of the grip right around five and three quarters inches. This is showing right at right at five and three quarters inches. Okay, I hope that picks up. If I do the exact same thing with the G3C, I will look at right around five and a half inches. So it's a quarter inch difference. Okay, five and a half inches right there. So it's a quarter inch wider with the circumference of the grip. So I'm not just having mind issues when I grip it. It actually is a quarter inch. Is it going to make a difference? I don't think it'll make much of a difference, but if you have real small hands, perhaps it will. The difference that I see is that when carrying, this is a Glock 19 holster, but for demonstration purposes, the part that prints is the grip. The barrel length does not print. That's usually in your pants or however you carry. The, the part that will print is the length of the grip. So if we take these in a holster, we'll see that the difference is right there. Okay. And if we look at it from this part, we'll see this has a flat base plate. This has an extended base plate. So you're looking at about half inch there, about three quarters of an inch. If you are concerned with printing, then the, the 12 rounds would be more suitable for you. But if not, 15 rounds is uh, additional capacity. It's always a, a good thing, whether carrying or not. You know, more, more ammo in your gun is a good thing just about all the time. However, wider grip, same slide assembly, same barrel length, all right, and a longer grip. But then Taurus threw in the G3 XL, and then this offers a, a four inch barrel. So if we look at the G3, we'll see that the barrel length is exactly the same. This is a Toro model. This is not available as a Toro pistol, Taurus optic ready option, but I have to believe it will be in the future. If we look at the G3C, we'll see that 3.2 inch barrel on the left, four inch barrel on the right, and that's what you're looking at. Will it make a difference in carrying? Not so much, but you will have to get another holster because most Kydex holsters won't support that additional length on the grip. Will this slide work with a frame on either of these? And the answer is yes. All of these frames will work with each of the slides. Now I've heard people say, well, you know, why don't you just get a take your G3 and get another frame or take take a, a magazine 
instead of buying this, get that. The MSRP on this is 343. The MSRP on the G3C is 340. It's a $3 difference and they are budget priced handguns. There's no question about that. These are budget prices. So we have the exact same frame with the G3 XL and we have the exact same slide with the G3X. What type of difference in weight are we looking at when we consider these models? Let's take a look at that. Here we have the G3C. We'll start out with that because most people understand and it's been around longer. 22 and a quarter ounces unloaded. Here we have the G3XL, 24 and a half. So we're looking at two and a quarter ounces. And then the G3X, 22 and 5 eighths. So about an ounce and a half, roughly. So we're looking at, you know, the lightest one is going to be the smallest uh, on the table, and that's a G3C. Now, if we look at the features, we're going to see many similarities. These are uh, unloaded, but you're looking at a single action trigger breaking right around four and a quarter pounds with a reset right there. Here's the G3 XL, same deal, all right? Four and a quarter pounds with a reset, same. And if I did it with the G3 X, we would see the exact same thing. And for that matter, the full size G3 offers that same feature. Tenefer finish, Glock interchangeable sights, serrated black, pinned in front dot, sight hole indicator, grip texture, feels the same on all three. These are, budget handguns but they are very reliable and they've gained especially the the g3c this one here has gained an incredible reputation you ask any gun store salesman clerk whatever owner they'll tell you we sell a lot of those as soon as they come in because people love the g3c and now you can get it with a thumb safety or without i will also mention that so far the g3 xl is without the thumb safety as well as the G3X. Does that matter? Maybe. I mean, everybody's a little bit different. Here again is a demonstration. G3X on the left, G3XL on the right, and then we'll see a similar difference with the grip length. Additional ammo, 15 rounds, 12 rounds. The advantage with the G3XL is the longer slide and the four inch barrel. Why is that an advantage? Because it aids in accuracy. And I can attest to that. The longer barrel, you're gonna have an easier time hitting your targets. Is it a drastic difference? No, but it's a little bit more precise and, and that certainly helps against confidence at the range. And it has a longer sight radius. If we align it with the G3C, we'll take a look, we'll align the rear sight with the front sight, and you can see there's there's approximately an inch, all right, maybe a little less. But that additional sight radius and that additional barrel length aids in accuracy, and that is the advantage. You still have 12 rounds, advantage here, 15 rounds, advantage here, smallest configuration, about an ounce and a half lighter than the G3X, about two, uh, two ounces lighter, maybe a little more than the G3 XL. One of the things that people were so impressed with, with the G3C, when it was first introduced, they included three magazines, three 12 round magazines. The G3 XL, for three bucks more, you're getting a longer slide, same mechanics, but you're getting two magazines. And with the G3X, you're getting two magazines. MSRP 343, 343, 340 for the G3C. That's really what I wanted to talk about was the, the differences, the similarities. You've got the tenefer finish on the slide. You have an accessory rail. You have a longer barrel. Here you have a longer grip. And then here you have the flagship model, the G3C. And I hope that demonstrates many of the questions that people have. And you know, who knows? I think they're going to come out with the Toro models, Toro or Taurus optic ready option like I have here, right? 
And w when they do, that'll be another choice that you'll have to decide if you want to carry with a red dot. Um, they already have that with the G3C and the G3. Not yet with these, but I think it's coming. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.